As Winkler, Schaefer, six foot five, but a great shooter. And Winkle, obviously six nine, has been a four year starter for the Bears. He's going to play college basketball next year at Augustana. And he said he'll show you why he had a big game last night against North Union. For Algona, they've been a very balanced attack. Uh, in this four-game winning streak, they've had different scores most nights, or different leading scores, I should say, most nights, but usually three to four guys in double figures. They had four in double figures the other night against Humboldt. And then last night, three players in double figures, Tyler Mansky, Noah Nelson, and also Garrett Goshi. They've been uh, pretty consistent uh, throughout. James Wardick has also been up there in double figures several times so far this season. So... Like I said, both uh, both teams have uh, scoring threats, but Bulldogs maybe the, the more balanced attack uh, than Bishop Gergen. Bishop Gergen looking for a little more balance to offset Winkle and Schaefer. Quick timeout. We'll come back. Starting lineups right after this on Home Country, KLGZ. is a priority with both schools competing tonight. In partnership with the Iowa High School Athletic Association, we ask that you please cheer on your team, treat people with respect, and let the results of this contest stand as an honest competition between young adults. And now, let's meet the starting lineups. First for the Golden Bears, a 5'11", senior, number three, Isaiah Black. Number two, Jack Grandjeanette. Next, a 5'11 senior, number four, Joseph Mice. A 6'1 senior, number 15, Kellen Murphy. A 6'4 senior, number 22, Kyle Schaaf. And a 6'9 senior, number 33, Angelo Winkle. And now, let's meet the starters for your Algona Bulldogs. First, a 6'2 junior, number 10, Garrett Goshi. A 5'9 senior, number 14, Noah Nelson. A 6'3 junior, number 24, Tyler Mansky. A 6'3 senior, number 30, Kyle Simpson. And a 6'6 senior, number 40, James Wartick. So we're trying to physical up Angelo Winkle a little bit, but Winkle is so good with his back to the basket. He can score any time. Can hit the outside shot, but uh, his best uh, down low, obviously. Bears the traveling black uniforms, gold letter numerals. Bulldogs the home whites, the red trim, and the black, letter, or black trim and the red letter numerals. Warwick jumping center against Angelo Winkle. Bears from left to right, Bulldogs from right to left as Winkle gets to the tap early and wins it for Bishop Gergen. They'll have the first possession of the game. Jack Grandjeanette brings it into the front court. Harassed by Noah Nelson. They go high post to Schaefe. Schaefe guarded by Wardick. They've got Kyle Simpson on Angelo Winkle right now. Fogarty in the corner to Mice. Mice swings to the right side. Now to Schaefe, top of the key. Looking for that entry feed, but also helping out on Winkle inside. They get it to Winkle now in the corner. Angelo working on Kyle Simpson. Angelo steps back, fires up a three. It's no good. Rebound into the hands of Kyle Simpson. Started to break the other way and then had the ball knocked away. Still loose on the floor. It'll be a held ball, and it'll stay with Algona. Just underway first possession here for the Bulldogs of Algona. Goshi to throw it in over the far side as... He'll get it back from Noah Nelson now. They leave Garrett Goshi alone, far side, fires up a three, it's no good. Rebound Kyle Schaaf, good block out there on Wardick. No chance for Wardick to get that rebound. Scoreless through the first 45 seconds, Andrew Fogarty. Has it on the right wing, harassed by Tyler Mansky. Now out top to Grandjeanette. Grandjeanette high post Kyle Schaaf. Schaaf had it knocked away by Wardick and he's gonna be called for a walk. Just a minute gone by, no score. Garrett Goshi in the backcourt. Full court press here from Bishop Garrigan. 
Into the front court, Manske gives it off to Kyle Simpson. Simpson drives in, had it knocked away by Winkle, gets it back and sets it in for two. Kyle Simpson with the bucket. 2 0 Algona, minute 15 into the game. Jack Grandinet across the timeline, sophomore, had it knocked away by Nelson, but gets it back. Now dribbles out near midcourt. High post to Kyle Schaefe. Schaefe drives in on Warnick, gets cut off, looking into Winkle. Bounce pass, knocked away. Winkle fighting for it inside. It's out of bounds, last touch by Angelo. There's the JV basketball team applauding that one. Looks like members of the Algona High wrestling team as well in the house. Tyler Mansky drives the other way. Kicks it off to Simpson. Tough pass. It's going to go, excuse me, that's Garrett Goshi. It's going to go off Garrett Goshi's hands and out of bounds. That was a tough feed. And Coach Cecil saying, hey, you get in that close, just toss it up towards the rim, Tyler. Mice in the backcourt to Fogarty. Fogarty works it up against Noah Nelson, and now Nelson finds his man, and Fogarty gets it across the timeline to Angelo Winkle. Winkle works on Simpson. Looking for Kyle Schaefer in the high post. Now goes out top instead to Jack Ranjanet. Schaefer in the high post. Finds Winkle on the block. Angelo spins in on Kyle Simpson. And that's going to be an offensive foul. Garrett Goshi was waiting. Garrett Goshi was waiting and Angelo ran him over. Pretty easy call there. First foul on Winkle. First team foul. 5.55 to go first quarter. In the front court. Garrett Goshi blows past everybody. Takes it to the basket. Foul. He just got the second on Angelo Winkle. And as Winkle went for the block, got a lot of body. His second foul in a matter of 10 seconds. And Garrett Goshi to the line for two. Fouls on number 33, Angelo Winkle. His second, team second as well. As Garrett Goshi to the line. Free throw is good. One more coming. Goshi on the season, shooting 77% from the free throw line. Second free throw is up. That one's good. So Goshi hits the pair. Full court press here from Algona. Andrew Fogarty in the backcourt. Finds Jack Granjanet. Granjanet across the timeline. Needs help. And what do we have here? We've got a timeout asked for by Bishop Garrigan. 5.43 to go here, first quarter. 4 nothing in favor of Algona. Back in a minute here on Home Country. As we come back, a strong take by Jack Grandinette. He missed the shot, but put back by Kyle Schaaf. Gets Bishop Garrigan on the board. Now a little bump foul on Grandinette as we come the other way. But Kyle Schaaf was there for the putback off the miss by Grandinette. Four to two, five nineteen to go here in the opening half or opening quarter, I should say. Just started. No one else in the right corner, guarded by Mice. Out top to Kyle Simpson, left side Goshi, open for three, it's on the way, it's good. Garrett Goshi's got five, the lead is five, it's seven to two. And Algona harassing Bishop Garrigan's guards in the backcourt. Winkle says clear the floor and he'll bring the ball up. And he'll reset the offense. Winkle drives baseline, now dumps it off, tries to find Kyle Schaefe, knocked away and stolen. Tyler Mansky though has his pocket picked. Schaefe gives it off to Winkle inside and Winkle stuffs it home. At the other end, Noah Nelson to the hoop. The Bulldogs get out in transition, and Nelson takes it to the bucket. 9-4 Algona, four and a half to go opening quarter. Kyle Schaefe across the timeline. The Mice, Bulldogs is standing at full court defense. Mice left side, Kellen Murphy in the game, and Kellen 
Threw that one just a little too high intended for Kyle Schaaf on the block. Fogarty out, Kaifus Goshi in. Isaiah Plath into the game for the first time for Joe Mice. 9-4 out, going to 4.24 to go. As uh, the uh, two spectator rule, right now it looks like the Algona team is, they don't have any, hardly any parents in the stands, it's all students. So they put, uh, looks like they put the students on their pass list. That's why a little more raucous atmosphere than we've had thus far as Nelson breaks through the press, gives it left side to Kyle Simpson. Back to Noah Nelson, head fake, drives in right side to Garrett Goshi. Garrett. Over to Tyler Mansky. He's open for three right side. No good. Rebound fought for. Controlled by Kaifus Goshi. And a foul coming on Kyle Simpson. A little bit out of control there. But I only see a couple of parents in the Algona stands. Everybody else. Students for the Bulldogs. Smart move there. It's a nice change of pace as well. You know what? Mom and Dad, they get to come all the time. But uh, the students have been left out so far. Angelo Winkle with the right side. Left side to Kyle Schaaf. Kyle, head fake, and he's going to be called for a walk. Just kind of drug that pivot foot behind him as he started his move. So the Bulldogs also have their JV basketball team here. Mansky gives it off to Garrett Goshi. He'll bring it across the timeline. Over and over to Tyler. Tyler drives in. Out top to Noah Nelson. Open for three. It's on the way. It's short. Rebound, though, into the hands of Wardick, and then he lost it. It was knocked out of bounds, last touched by Bishop Garrigan. As Kyle Schaaf got a piece of it. Nine to four in favor of Algona. Simpson, or excuse me, Wardick gets a shot up over Winkle, but too strong. Rebound cleared by Goshi for Bishop Garrigan. Kaifus Goshi with the unmistakable orange shoes. Winkle spins in the paint, hangs, can't hit, gets his own rebound. Takes it back up through contact and gets it to go. Winkle's got four. The lead is three for Algona, nine to six. Goshi in the backcourt. Picks up his dribble, and he stepped out of bounds. He was about to pick up his dribble and pass it, and they say he touched the sideline over there. Three sixteen to go, first quarter. Nine six in favor of Algona. Bishop Garrigan trying to get closer here. Kellen Murphy to throw it in. Somebody needs to go to the basketball. Ball hit Aaron Waringa in the back of the head. It's going to go out of bounds. As Murphy tried to throw it all the way across the court, Waringa was face guarding Isaiah Plath, and the ball hit him right in the back of the head, kicked out of bounds. So the Bears fortunate to keep it right here. Somebody's got to cut hard to the basketball. Kaifus Goshi finally does. Bears get it in. Plath out top, guarded by Aaron Waringa. Nick Brown into the game for the first time. Plath picks up his dribble, finds Kellen Murphy, now gives it off to Goshi. Kaifus. Hangs and hits a soft little jumper there. Noah Nelson bringing it back the other way quickly. Into the front court, Kyle Simpson. Bears trying to extend their defense as well, get their int defensive intensity. Waringa out top, cross court feeding now to Nick Brown. Brown, cross court to Nelson. Nelson dribble drive out top. Waringa steps into a three. It's on the way, it's off the side of the iron. No good. Rebound though, out of bounds off of Bishop Garrigan. They say it hit off Kyle Schaefer, it looked like. 9-8 to Algona in front. Into the corner. Simpson now to Nelson. No one else takes the dribble out top. Bishop Garrigan extending their 2-3 zone right now. In the corner to Kyle Simpson. Nelson, deep three right side on the way, good. No one else has got five. The lead is four for Algona, 12-8, 2.14 to go opening quarter. The series has been pretty even since 2006. Plath lobs inside to Schaaf. Kyle, fadeaway 15-footer, partially blocked by Wardick, saved by no one else. Here comes Kyle Simpson the other way. Simpson drives in. Floater over Winkle, rejected by Winkle, but out of bounds to Algona. Bulldogs have won 12 out of the last 22 meetings, so 12 to 10. They lead the series dating back to 2006. Wardick gets inside, had it knocked away. Ball loose on the floor. Still loose on the floor. Going to be a held ball. Alternating possession says we go the other way. Wardick tried to put it on the deck and get around Winkle and had it knocked away. Kyle Simpson, Nick Brown out. Garrett Goshi. 
Garrett Goshi back in along with Tyler Mansky. 12-8. Kyle Schaefer in the backcourt gives it off to Isaiah Plath. He'll bring it across the timeline. Plath dribbles right side. Out top to Kyle Schaefer. Head fake on the three, drives in on Wardick. Now back to Plath. Gives it off to Angelo, fakes it off to Angelo Winkle, I should say. Plath drives in, needs some help. Lobs out top, stolen away by Tyler Mansky. Mansky to the basket, his layup is good. First two of the night for Tyler Mansky. 14 to 8, Algona in front. Kellen Murphy within the backcourt. Lobs it over to Winkle. So Winkle will bring it across slowly, and the Bears will try to set their offense here. 14 to 8. Little 5 0 spurt here for Algona. Winkle dumps it off to Kyle Schaefe. Can't get the shot away. Now drives in, and it's Aaron Waringa getting a tie ball. We'll go back the other way as Schaefe put it on the deck. Waringa much shorter, but able to get in there and get the tie ball. Angelo Winkle checks out. He's got two fouls. He's played most of this first quarter with those two fouls, so hadn't picked up a third. 53 seconds to go opening quarter. Wardick across the timeline. Works past Kyle Schaaf. Takes it to the basket. Shot blocked away by Kaifas Goshi. Plath brings it across the timeline. Left side to Goshi. Goshi spins. Can't get his defender in there. Gives it off to Kyle Schaaf. Schaaf picks up his dribble. Now out top to Isaiah Plath. 29 seconds to go opening quarter. Plath picked up his dribble over to Fogarty. Fogarty, high post to Schaaf. Schaaf, fade away, 18-footer, no. Rebound Wardick for the Bulldogs. Goshi outlets to Aaron Waringa. 14 seconds to go. Waringa into the front court. Cross court to Noah Nelson. He's open for three. It's on the way, too strong. Rebound Fogarty for Bishop Garrigan. Six seconds, Murphy into the front court. Pulls up from 18 feet. Actually, about more like 22 feet. And left it short, out of bounds. There's still 1.4 seconds left as the Bears were... Getting ready to head to the bench for the end of the quarter. Goshi from three-quarter court. Good if it goes. It's not it close, and it's 14-8 to eight Algona after one quarter of play. We're back in a minute on home country. KLGZ. Fourteen to eight, Algona after one quarter of play. Bishop Garrigan with the basketball to start the second quarter. As Angelo Winkle is going to have to start, or Kaifa Scotia is going to have to start in the and so Kaifa Scotia is going to have to start on the floor. As Winkle didn't report in time, apparently to start the second quarter on the floor. So he'll come in at the next dead ball. Jack Ranjanet back in, running the point for Bishop Gerrigan, works up on Noah Nelson. Left side, Joe Mice, guarded by Garrett Goshi, now to Kaifus Goshi for the, bull, for the Bears. Left side, Schaefe, had fake on the three, drives in all the way to the basket, shot blocked away by Tyler Mansky, but saved to the Golden Bears by Nick Kyle Simpson. Left corner, Joe Mice, open for three. It's on the way, it's good. Joseph Meiss with his first three of the night. 14 to 11, cuts the lead in half. Bulldogs have numbers the other way, but can't take advantage of the Bears as the Bears get back. Kyle Simpson, out top to Garrett Goshi. Goshi, high post, Noah Nelson. Noah back to Garrett, right corner, Kyle Simpson. Open for three, it's on the way. High archer shot, and it goes through. 
Kyle Simpson's first three-pointer line. He's got five points, 17 to 11 in favor of the Bulldogs. Granjanet behind the back dribble, left side to Fogarty. Into the corner, knocked away, tried to get it to Mice. Now Winkle checks in. Fogarty will throw it in. Bulldogs not guarding the out of bounds. Bears working into shape, double teamed in the post, now kicks it out. Out top to Winkle. Winkle drives in, gives it off to Shafe. Little floater in the lane, left it short. Rebound controlled by Simpson for Algona. Bulldogs running the other way. Kyle Simpson over to Tyler Mansky. Tyler pulls up from 10 feet, in and out and back in. Tyler Mansky's got four. 19 to 11. Biggest lead for Algona at eight points. Shafe in the backcourt, harassed by Warwick. Bulldogs going pretty much full court man to man right now. Mice across the timeline. Goes right corner to Angelo Winkle. Winkle dribbles baseline, gets around his defender, lost, or couldn't get the shot to go. Rebound knocked around and finally controlled by Bishop Gerrigan after Algona tried to outlet. It was knocked away from Noah Nelson. Bears grab it in the backcourt and they're going the other way. Winkle, left side, Grand Jeanette. Into the corner, Kyle Schaaf. Schaaf out top to Angelo. Steps into a three. It's on the way. It's good. Angelo Winkle's got seven. Cuts the lead down to five at 19-14. Noah Nelson out top to Mansky. Mansky traveled with the basketball. Just a little stutter step. 5.56 to go here in the second quarter. 19-14 in favor of Algona High. Grand Jeanette in the backcourt. Works it up against Nelson behind the back dribble. Had it knocked away by Noah Nelson. Noah Nelson picks his pocket. He's got Kyle Simpson on the other side. Nelson takes it to the hoop, left it short. Rebound out of that, out of all that. Jack Grand Jeanette comes away with it. Winkle to the basket, and he's fouled by Goshi to prevent the slam. As Angelo went up with the, for the one-hand flush, got fouled. They'll go to the line for two. Fouls on number 10, Garrett Goshi. Timeout asked for. That's the first foul on Garrett Goshi. Team second, 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 5.37 to go until half. Girls game went to Algona, or went to Bishop Garrigan. Is that one the Golden Bears ran away and hit in the first half? Had no problem. 79 to 22 for the top ranked Golden Bears. They went to 9 0 in the season. Bulldogs fall to 1 7. So it'll be Angelo Winkle at the free throw line. As we resume play after he was fouled there by Garrett Koshi. Only two fouls on the Bulldogs, three on Bishop Garrigan. Winkle's got two of them. Two shots coming for the senior. Free throw no good. Winkle just shooting 43% from the free throw line so far this season. Wardick back in. Kyle Simpson out. Aaron Waringa back in as well. Free throw by Winkle. Missed them both. And then the ball knocked away by Fogarty off of Tyler Mansky out of bounds. Fogarty got the poke away there. So the Bears get it back after Winkle's free throws missed. Lob out top to Fogarty. Right side to Kyle Schaaf. Works it on Wardick. Kyle Schaaf gets baseline, spins, hangs. Had it rejected by James Wardick. Good defense there by the Bulldog big man. At the other end, Garrett Goshi gets in, slips, gives it off to Wardick. He missed the set in. Wardick, though, gets it back. Can't get it to go. Partially blocked by Winkle. Bulldogs missed a couple of bunnies there. 19-14, the score remains. Granjanette behind the back dribble. Down the left side of the paint, drives in. Scoop shot, no good. Almost got that to go somehow. Winkle gets it from behind the backboard and scores it. Angela Winkle with nine. The lead is three at 19-16. Nelson into the front court to Aaron Waringa. Waringa hand, harassed by Mice. Goes right side to Tyler Mansky. Tyler breaks Schaaf down off the dribble. Pulls up from 15 feet. Got it. Tyler Mansky's got six. The lead is five again at 21-16. Mice running the other way. Dumps it off to Schaefer. Cut into the basket. Blocked, fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Two shots coming for Kyle Schaefer. Strong take there. And 
Warnick did what he could to prevent the layup. Sheaf to the line for two. First one on the way is good. Sheaf 72% free thrower on the season. Kaifus Goshi back in for Bishop Garrigan. Kyle Simpson back in for the Bulldogs. No one else and sits down. 21-17. Shafe to try and make it a three-point game again. This one on the way is good. Kyle Shafe, a pair of free throws. He's got four points. And the lead at three, 21-18. Garrett Goshi, right side. Drives in on Kaifus Goshi. Kyle Simpson. He'll back the dribble out now to Garrett Goshi. Goshi guarding Goshi right now. Garrett drives in, had it stripped. Winkle comes away with the steal. Out top, Winkle drives in, kicks it off right side to Mice. Mice pull up a little floater from 15. Short rebound, Garrett Goshi from Algona. Outlets to Tyler Mansky. Tyler drives into the basket, gets the layup around Winkle. Tyler Mansky's got eight to lead the way for the dogs. Lead back to five at 23-18. 3.55 to go opening half. Mice into the front court. Guarded by Mansky. Dribbles out near the Bulldog logo. Right side to Angelo Winkle. Winkle goes baseline. Gets up in the air. Goes out top to Mice. Mice drives in. Out top to Kellen Murphy. Murphy, oof. Murphy got away with a double dribble there. <laughs> into the corner, Mice. Lobs into Winkle. Winkle triple teamed. Can't hit left and short. Tipped the rebound out to Kyle Schaaf, though. Schaaf's in close. He'll hang. He can't hit, but he's fouled. And if that's on Ward, it gets two. Yep, it's on James Mordick. It'll be his second foul, foul of about a minute. 23-18, Shafe back to the line to try and cut into the lead. Hit two a moment ago, hits the first one here. Kyle Shafe with five points. The lead is four, 23-19. 3.25 to go till halftime. Second free throw for Schaefer is on the way. In and out, no good. Rebound, Kyle Simpson. Good block out there. 23-19, four-point game. As Kyle Simpson drives in, gets past Kellen Murphy, hangs and hits off glass. Kyle Simpson puts it in. He's got seven. 25-19. Murphy into the front court. Gives it off to Winkle out near midcourt. He'll hand it off to Isaiah Plath. The Bears will reset. Plath, left side Murphy. Looking for Winkle cutting across the lane. Now a top shafe. Open for three. Top of the key. Oh, off the side of the iron. No good. Rebound, though. Tipped to Kellen Murphy. He puts it up and in for two. Kellen Murphy's first two of the ninth. 25-21. We go the other way. Wardick, right corner. He'll fire up a three ball. In and out. No good. Rebound, Kaifus Goshi for the Bears. That one was halfway down. Winkle with the left side. Throws out top now to Isaiah Plath. Plath, right side to Murphy. Now top Winkle. Winkle left side Plath. Guarded by Waringa. Angelo. Backs the dribble out. Now gives it back to Plath. Top of the key. 2.15 to go first half. 25-21. Left side Kyle Schaefe. In the corner to Murphy. Murphy inside Winkle. Winkle catches it in traffic. Hangs and hits for two. Baseball pass the other way by Aaron Waringa. Off of Tyler Mansky's hands, out of bounds. Unforced turnover there on the Bulldogs, just trying to be too quick. 25-23, Murphy sits down. Winkles in double figures with 11 to lead Bishop Garrigan. That's got to be a foul. Whoa. It's out of bounds off of Aaron Waringa, but he, he knocked Plath to the ground on the follow-through, but they're going to say no foul. Ooh, interesting there. As there was an awful lot of contact. Bears lob it into the front court to Joe Pl or Joseph Mice. Finds Kyle Schaaf cutting in the basket. Kyle sets it up and in for two. And just like that, it's a tie game. A 6-0 run right now for Bishop Garrigan. 25 apiece. Noah Nelson gives it off to Garrett Goshi. Goshi drives in. Had it stripped by Joe Mice. Mice running the other way. He's got Waringa behind him. Layup no, but a follow dunk by Angelo Winkle. And a bump foul coming on Isaiah Plath going the other way, but Winkle was there for the putback with authority, and the Bears have their first lead at 
Fouls on number three, Isaiah Plath, his first team. First. first foul on Plath, team foul number four. Both teams have been whistled four times. 27-25, 8-0 run right now for Bishop Garrigan. Goshi out top to Noah Nelson. Nelson works in on Plath. Dribble drive, pulls up from 15, too strong. Rebound fought for, and it's going to be still knocked around, still loose. Tie ball. It'll stay with Algona on the jump ball here. It's Waringa, Mice, Plath, Mansky all trying to get that loose ball. Winkle sits with a minute 15 to go in the half. He's got those two fouls. Played a lot of this first half with those two. Noah Nelson dribbles out top on Isaiah Plath. Left side to Garrett Goshi. Harassed by Kaifus Goshi. Out top to Waringa. Waringa tries to go past Mice. Now to Tyler Mansky. Tyler drives in. Little power stop. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound. Kaifus Goshi for Bishop Garrigan. Bears a two-point lead in the basketball. Isaiah Plath in the front court, 50 seconds to go, first half. Garrigan on an 8-0 run right now to get the lead at 27-25. Schaefe in the paint, and he's going to be called for a walk. 44 and a half seconds to go, opening half. Bulldogs led 25-19, but have hit a dry spell. Haven't scored in several minutes. No one else. High post gives it off. Goshi thought about the three, now goes left side to Noah. Noah drives in, kicks it off to Tyler Mansky. Now the Bulldogs look like they want to go for the last shot. They pulled that all the way back out. Moringa left side to Wardick. Down to 18 seconds. 27-25, Garrigan. Bulldogs looking for the last shot of the half. Down to 12. Mansky gets a screen out top. Tyler. On the left side of the paint, left corner to Goshi. Fires up a contested three, it was blocked. Wardick gets it, he can't convert. Rebound kept around and it'll be the end of the first half with Bishop Garrigan ending it on an 8-0 run. And they take a 27-25. He starts the second half on the bench. Kaifus Goshi starts the second half on the floor for the Golden Bears. As Nelson harassing full court on Jack Granjanet. Granjanet brings the ball up, had it knocked away by Noah Nelson. And we're gonna have a tie ball that'll go to Algona on the alternating possession as Nelson poked it away. It's what equates to a turnover there. Goshi left side, Tyler Mansky guarded by Schaefe into the corner to Wardick. Wardick works it on Winkle. Now picks up his dribble, needs help, gives it off to Noah Nelson. Noah drives into the basket. He's fouled hard by Jack Grandjanet. Noah Nelson going to the line for two. 27-25, just underway third quarter. Foul on Grant then is his second. First team foul this half. Nelson to the line for two, hits the first. One more free throw coming. No one else now with six points tonight. 27-26, second free throw on the way. That one good as well. Nelson hits the pair. We're tied at 27. Mice got to get it in, looking, looking. Now throws to Goshi. Had it knocked away by the other Goshi. As Garrett gets the steal, off to Tyler Mansky. He'll set it in for two. As that pass led Kaifus Goshi right in to Garrett Goshi, and the ball got jarred loose. 29-27, Bulldogs with the first four of the half to start this third quarter. Winkle drives in, had it stripped by Kyle Simpson. Simpson going the other way, two on one. Simpson to the basket, layup, good. And a 6-0 run to start the second half by Algona. Has them up for it, 31-27. Schaefe gives it off to Kaifus Goshi. Now to Jack Granjanet. Granjanet splits a double team. They're trying to make sure Winkle doesn't get the basketball. Right side to Mice. High post, Kaifus Goshi. Inside Schaefe. Schaefe turns. Little baby hook over the top of Wardick. Can't get it to go. And a rebound by Wardick. Here come the Bulldogs the other way. Tyler Mansky drives into the basket. Rejected by Winkle. Granjanet comes out of there with it for the Golden Bears. And he's going to be traveling with the basketball here. Granjanet picked it up, was trying to throw the pass to Winkle, who was covered well. Thought better of it and then pulled the pivot foot behind it. 31-27. Now going on a 6-0 run to start the second half. Nelson 
Right corner to Mansky. He's open for three. It's way too strong. Rebound on the other side to Winkle. Winkle into the front court. Gets a screen from Kaifas Goshi. Might have thrown his shoulder there. Kaifas Goshi gets in close. He gets fouled by Garrett Goshi. Kaifas Goshi to the line for two. Thirty-one twenty-seven. Goshi to the line for a pair. Free throw on the way, no good. One more coming for Kaifas Goshi as Jack Grandjanet comes out. Isaiah Plath in. Goshi just one of five on the season from the free throw line. So now one of six. Second free throw on the way. That one's good. He rattles it home. Three points off the bench for Kaifas Goshi. 31-28 ends a 6-0 Algona run to start the second half. Kyle Simpson drives in, and it's going to be a travel. No, they're going to call a little blocking foul there. I thought, thought they were going to say he tripped going through because the Bears were set, but they call the blocking foul. Foul on number four, Joseph Mice. Foul on Mice is his first, team second this half. Nelson in the corner, guarded by Isaiah Plath. Nelson gets into the paint. Kicks it back out to Wardick. Left corner for three. In and out, no good. Kaifas Goshi with the rebound for Bishop Garrigan. Isaiah Plath, who's checked back in, brings it into the front court. Out top to Winkle. Kyle Simpson knocked it away. Going to be a tie ball. He'll stay with Bishop Garrigan on the alternating possession. But Kyle Simpson has been trying to deny that pass. The Bears have been trying to get it to Winkle, the top of the key. That's one there. Bears need a ball fake and need Winkle to cut behind it. Winkle, right side to Mice, open for three. On the way, no good. Rebound tapped around, Wardick has it for the Bulldogs. Behind the back dribble from James Wardick, much to the liking of the students. Left side, Goshi for three, got it. Garrett Goshi buries the three. His second of the night, he's got eight. The lead is six for Algona, 34-28. Timeout, Bishop Garrigan. 5.33 to go, third quarter. We're back after this on Home Country, KLGZ. Bishop Garrigan with the basketball, 34-28. Bulldogs on an 11-1 run to start this second half. Plath out top, Winkle, trying to set up that backdoor play as Wardick was waiting for it. Winkle dribbles left side, gives it out top. No, he doesn't get it out top to shape. Hangs, can't hit. Rebound, Kaifas Goshi, but then he slips coming down, and the Bulldogs come away with it. But then it's thrown away by Simpson. Now he takes it back. Gives it off to Garrett Goshi, and we're going to call a travel before all that happened. The uh, Bulldogs were simply out of control from the start there. That's once Simpson got the steal, just kind of kept going. And Bears coming the other way. Three minutes into the second half, still looking for their first field goal. Isaiah Plath gives it off to Mice, right side, harassed by Goshi. Out top to Kyle Schaaf. Schaaf, left block to Winkle. Winkle drives in, can't get the shot to go, but he draws a foul, and he'll go to the line for two. Fouls on number 30, Kyle Simpson, his second. Foul on Team Simpson, second. his second. Team's second. Winkle to the line for two. First free throw is good. First point of the second half for Angelo Winkle. Mice and Goshi out for Bishop Garrigan. Fogarty and Plath back in. Or excuse me, Fogarty and Kellen Murphy back in. Second free throw by Winkle on the way. Short rebound, Tyler Mansky for the Bulldogs. Mansky running the other way. 
Gives it off to Noah Nelson. 34-29, bold longs by five, 4.45 to go, third quarter. Mansky fade away from about 10 feet, got it over Kyle Schaefe. Tyler Mansky, he's got 12 to lead the way for the Bulldogs. Out top, Isaiah Plath, harassed by Noah Nelson. Plath picks up his dribble left side, Winkle and Murphy in the same spot. Winkle's got it. Angelo, out top to Kyle Schaefe. Right side to Isaiah Plath. Plath, harassed by Nelson, goes right side to Kellen Murphy. Now back to Plath, top of the key, left side, Schaefe. He's open, doesn't take the shot. Drives in, gets in the paint, gets Wardick in the air. Now Wardick blocks the shot away out of bounds. 36-29. Bulldogs by seven. Outscored out Bishop Gergen 12-2 here in the second half. Plath, top of the, or excuse me, Shafe, top of the key. 15-footer, no good, too strong. Rebound controlled by Algona. Garrett Goshi running the other way. Noah Nelson left side. Drives in, kicks it out to Kyle Simpson. Steps into a three, good. Everything going Algona's way right now. 39-29, 10-point Bulldog lead. Winkle in the backcourt, hands off to Kellen Murphy. Murphy over to Isaiah Plath. Plath looking inside, find, tries to find Winkle and a shove from behind on Kyle Simpson. 39-29, 14 to two run right now for Algona. Simpson's third foul, checks him out of the game. Waringa comes in, Aaron Waringa into the game for him. Isaiah Plath to throw it in, looking. Looking, needs somebody to come to the basketball. Lobs it out top to Kyle Schaefe. Schaefe has been held scoreless in this second half. Bears still don't have a field goal. Winkle with the right side, harassed by Mansky. Angelo Winkle drives in, tried to dump it off to Kellen Murphy. And he was fouled by Wardick, they say. When he was passing the ball, should be out of bounds. Foul on Wardick is his third. So now the Bulldogs get into a little bit of foul trouble inside. Oh, they're going to give Winkle two free throws. He was passing the ball, but they're going to say he was shooting. He was up in the air, dumping it off. So Winkle to the line for two. First one is good. Bears three out of five from the line here so far in this half. Their only points have come from the free throw line. Second one by Winkle is good as well. He hits the pair. Winkle's got 16. The lead for Algona is eight at 39-31. Noah Nelson out top to Tyler Mansky. Tyler, oh, he tripped. Says he stumbled a little bit as he tried to make his move and he traveled with the basketball. Coach Cecil saying, hey, we don't have to be in such a hurry. Up eight, 3.14 to go here in the third. Let things come to you a little bit more. Isaiah Plath in the backcourt, harassed by Noah Nelson. Now gets the corner turned and gets across the timeline. Plath drives in. Little fade away, off glass, no. Kyle Schaefe with the rebound. Kyle Schaefe, baby hook put back, got it to go. 39-33, four straight for the Bears to get within six. 2.50 to go, third quarter. Garrett Goshi out top. Picks up his dribble to Noah Nelson. Noah drives in on Isaiah Plath. Gets in close, now kicks it out to Aaron Waringa. He traveled with the basketball. Just drug that pivot foot behind him. Timeout, Algona, 2.42 to go third quarter. 39-33 Bulldogs. We're back in a minute on Hope Country, KLGZ.
39-33, 2.42 to go here in the third quarter. Bishop Garrigan with four straight to get within six. They led by two and a half, but a 14-2 run. Got Algona going, Winkle inside, hangs, hits, and draws the foul. A chance to get the Bears within three. Foul on Aaron Waringa. And the team's fifth, first foul on Waringa. The Winkle to the line, free throw is short. Rebound though, Kyle Schaaf had it. Stripped, Winkle grabs it, and he's gonna set it in for two. So it turns into a four point possession for Bishop Garrigan. And now they're harassing in the backcourt. No one else is gonna get it across the timeline. Dribbles to the middle of the floor, drives in. Dumps it off right side, Aaron Waringa steps into a three. No good, rebound, Wardick fighting for it inside. Gets Winkle up in the air and he hits. Not gonna count though, gonna say a foul on the floor. That'll be the third on Angelo Winkle. On the floor though, because Wardick waited to shoot. Oh no, they're gonna, okay, they're gonna give him free throws here, I'm sorry. Free throw is good, they're gonna give him the basket and the, wow, I didn't see them count it. So give the bucket to Wardick and the free throw, a three point play, puts the lead back to five for Algona. As Winkle nearly had it taken away in the backcourt, gives it off to Kellen Murphy. Minute 58 to go here, third quarter. 42-37, Winkle. Drives in, kicks a left corner to Fogarty. Open for three, got it. That's the shooter for Bishop Garrigan, his first look of the night, and he buries it, 42-40. Back to a two-point game. It was a 10-point game a moment ago. No one else it into the front court. Right side to Aaron Waringa. Now to Tyler Mansky. Mansky's got a right wing out top to go. She left side, no one else, and he's open for three. It's on the way, it's good. No one else in answers with a three, and it's back to a five point out going to lead, 45 40. Plath into the front court to Murphy. Left corner, Fogarty. Back to Kellen Murphy. Kellen Murphy drives into the basket, gets fouled by Mansky, and he'll go to the line for two. And that's team foul number six on Algona. So the Bulldogs, well, the Bears will be on the bonus the rest of the game. First foul on Tyler Mansky. Kellen Murphy to the line for two. Free throw by Murphy is good. His first attempt, he'll get one more. Kai Fiskoshi and Angelo Winkle sits down with those three fouls. Kyle Simpson checks in for Garrett Goshi for the Bulldogs. Forty-five, forty-one. Second free throw by Murphy. In and out, no good. Waringa with the rebound for Algona. Double teamed in the backcourt. Waringa doubles through or dribbles through a triple team basically. Gives it off to Noah Nelson left side for another three. Too strong. Rebound Plath for the Bears. Plath into the front court. Harassed by Nelson. Couldn't get the outlet there to Fogarty. Plath picks up his dribble, needs help. Left side to Kellen Murphy. Now back to Plath who is good. Murphy was going to fall into the backcourt. Kyle Schaaf drives in. Shot blocked away by Simpson. Outlets to Waringa, and the, Bear, the Bulldogs will try and slow it down a little bit here. A little helter-skelter by both sides for a moment. 45-41, 35 seconds to go third quarter. Nelson, high post. Baseline to Wardick. Takes it in. Blocked from behind by Kyle Schaaf. Bears have the rebound. Plath. In the backcourt, trying to get around Noah Nelson, knocked away, out of bounds, off of Plath. Turnover on the Bears. Nice to check in for Kellen Murphy. 21.2 seconds for Algona to work, and I think they want to hold for the last shot here. Nelson right side to Mansky, over to Waringa on the left wing. Down to 13, Waringa over to Noah Nelson. Down to 10. Nelson dribble drive. Hangs. They try to dump it off to Wardick. It's saved in the corner. Nelson gets it back. Gets a knocked away. Stolen by the Bears. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. But after three quarters of play, Algona leading Bishop Garrigan at 45 21. We're back in a minute on Home Country KLGZ.
Fourth quarter about set to begin. It'll be Algona basketball. Bulldogs outscored the Bears 20 to 14 there in that third quarter. But it was a 10 point lead at one point for Algona. Garrigan can cut it down to two. Bears, the Bulldogs got it back up to four here after the third quarter break. 45 41. Bulldogs with the possession in the front court here. Tyler Mansky with it out 30 feet from the hoop. Throws out top to Noah Nelson. 2 3 zone right now for Bishop Garrigan. Left side, Garrett Goshi. Harassed by Jack Granzonet, who's checked back in. Over to Kyle Simpson, who's playing with three fouls. Winkle's got three fouls. Wardick's got three. And the ball goes right through the hands of the Bulldogs into the hands of Angelo Winkle. Mice out top to Winkle. Throws out top to Granzonet. Bears will set up. Granzonet picks up his dribble, needs help. Cross court feed to Mice. Knocked away, still loose. Winkle's able to track it down for the Golden Bears. Out top to Grand Jeanette. Left side, Schaefe. Schaefe drives in. Gets his defender in the air. Now kicks it out to Winkle. Winkle to the basket. On the way. Can't get it to go. Grand Jeanette trying to get the offensive rebound. Him and Winkle knock it away from each other out of bounds. 45-41. And now a blocking foul coming on Kaifas Goshi. Bodied up Noah Nelson. Fourth foul on the Bears. Foul on number 11, Kaifas Goshi. His first, team's fourth. Foul on Go Goshi was his first. Bears, or Bulldogs break the Bears' pressure. They get it ahead to Tyler Mancy. To the basket. That would have counted anyway, but it went in. And as Winkle slapped the glass while it was up there. Didn't mean to. He blocked it partially, but... Still goes in, 47-41. Tyler Mansky with 14 to lead the way for the Bulldogs. Schaefe in the corner. Spins in, gives it off to Angelo Winkle. Winkle, step back three from the left corner. No good, rebound tapped around. Joe Mice grabs it for the Bears. Out top, they go to Schaefe right side. 4-3, too strong. Rebound fought for, Winkle and, Winkle and Mansky tie up for it. It'll stay with the Golden Bears. 47-41 in favor of Algona. 6.20 to go in the ballgame. Bears lob it out top to Kyle Schaefe. Schaefe, right side to Kaifas Goshi. Throws baseline to Winkle. Works it on Kyle Simpson. Winkle spins in the paint. Now gets up close. Can't convert. Gets his own rebound. He's going to put that one up. No good. Rebound tapped out long, and Kyle Schaefe grabs it for the Bears. Into the corner. Jack Ranjanet for three. No good, too strong. Rebound kicks out long. Mice tracks it down for the Bears. Multiple chances this trip for Bishop Garrigan. Left side, Grand Jeanette. Can't get it inside to Schaefe. Now he can. Schaefe on the left block. Works it on Wardick. Drives in to the basket. Shot blocked. Foul called. That's two shots coming for Kyle Schaefe. As Wardick got a lot of ball, but he then got a lot of Kyle Schaefe. 40, James His fourth. Seven. Fourth foul on Wardick with 5.48 to go in the ballgame. Schaefe to the line for two. Free throw on the way is up and good. Ten points now for Kyle Schaefe. One free throw coming. Nick Brown in, James Wardick out. 47-42. A chance to make it a four-point game right here. Second one on the way is good as well. Kyle Schaefe hits the pair. He's got 11. The lead for Algona is four, 47-43. Garrett Goshi in the front. We're trying to get into the front court. And now calls timeout. Got trapped right near half court. Has to call timeout. 47-43, 5.40 to go in the ball game. 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. I was right on the sideline. Good trap there by Bishop Garrigan. Goshi, though, didn't want to force anything, so turn around, call timeout, and save the possession. Been a game of runs. 47-43. Now going by four. That's what the deficit was for the Bears at the end of the third quarter after Algona outscored them 20-14 to in that third quarter. As it was Garrigan had an 8-0 run at the end of the first half to take a 27-25 lead at the break.
Bulldog basketball. Goshi brings it across the timeline. Right side to Noah Nelson. Noah, out top to Kyle Simpson. Right side, Goshi. Bears trying to chase him around with that 2-3 zone. Extending out near midcourt. Mansky, right side to Kyle Simpson. Now they go high post to Noah Nelson. Noah, back out top. A lot of space right around that free throw line. Noah Nelson open right side. Gives it off to Simpson, top of the key. Now back to Garrett Goshi, right wing. Bulldogs content to run a little clock. Garrett Goshi drives in all the way to the basket. Shot blocked. A lot of contact, no call, as that would have been the fourth on Winkle. Mice in transition, fires up a three, and he buries it. Big turn of events right there. 47-46, Goshi drives to the other end, hangs, and hits for two. Got it to go, 49-46. Granjanet gets it into Mice. Mice running the other way, three on three. Left corner, Kyle Schaefe. Drives past Mansky, gets in close, hangs and can't hit. Winkle up high for the rebound. Puts it back up and in for two, a one-point game again. No one else in the backcourt. Left side, they work it all the way over to Kyle Simpson. 49-48, Bulldogs by one, 4.18 to go in the game. Out top, Tyler Mansky. Right corner to Nick Brown. Brown over to No one Nelson. Left side, Kyle Simpson. Simpson right side to Brown. Four minutes exactly. Four minutes left. 49-48. Bulldogs by one. Left side. Noah Nelson gets the feed from Simpson. Noah drives in. Bodied up a couple times. Gives it off to Nick Brown. Brown drives in all the way to the basket. Rejected by Winkle, but it's out of bounds off Angelo. Fogarty checks in. For Goshi, Isaiah Plath checks in for Grand Jeanette. 49-48, Bulldogs by one with the basketball. No one else in the trigger it in left of the basket. Gets it into Kyle Sin or gets it into Goshi in the corner. Goshi looking into Warden, gets it to James on the block, works in on Winkle. Can't get the shot away, now gives it off to Noah Nelson. Noah, back to Wardick. Head fake on the three, now they'll swing it back out. Goshi, trying to get past Kyle Schaefe. Backs the dribble out near midcourt. Now dribbles past Schaefer all the way to the basket. Layup good. He got it past Winkle. Garrett Goshi with the bucket. 51-48. 3.15 to go in the game. Joseph Mice in the front court to Fogarty. Back to Mice with the three a moment ago. Schaefer top of the key. Doesn't take the shot. Isaiah Plath picks up his dribble. Cross court feed to Schaefer. Drives in on Wardick. Can't get the shot away, now to Mice. He's open for three to tie the game, no good. Rebound Isaiah Plath, the smallest guy on the floor. Schaefe has it right side, out top to Mice. Inside Winkles, got Simpson on him, much shorter. Turns, can't hit, offensive foul, oh wow. Aaron Waringa comes in and takes the charge as Winkle was gonna turn over the right shoulder. And they called Winkle for the foul, it's his fourth. That one there, it's a big call, but like I said, Winkle, a few moments ago on a drive by Goshi, hit him pretty good, they didn't call anything, so probably should have four fouls at this point. As it is, it's team foul number five on the Bears, the fourth on Angelo Winkle. So Algoda with the basketball and a three-point lead. Now Garrett Goshi drives in to the hoop, can't get the shot to go, blocked away by the Golden Bears, and Bishop Garrigan with it, still down three. Winkle. Fires up a three to tie the game, and he buries it. Angelo Winkle, they left him alone. He buries it. He's got 25, and we're tied at 51. 2.10 left. Goshi, left side to Noah Nelson. Back out to Goshi. Bulldogs slow it down here in a tie game. Noah Nelson dribbles past Isaiah Plath, but then it was poked away by Plath, and a reach-in foul coming on Plath. And that'll be team foul number six. Bulldogs have it out of bounds. Team foul number six, so no shooting foul. Right, not a shooting foul right there. 51-51. Both teams have had their runs in this game. Kyle Simpson to throw it in. Gets it to Noah Nelson, left corner. Winkle flies out on him. Now they switch it off. Waringa out top. Guarded by Fogarty. 
Nelson backs to dribble out. Now works it on Isaiah Plath. Bulldogs pulling it out right now. Winkle, or excuse me, Nelson drives in towards Winkle, but then backs away. Gives it off to Kyle Simpson. Simpson drives. Gets in the paint, now dumps it off to Noah Nelson. Doesn't look at the shot. Bulldogs content to run clock right now. They get fouled, it's a one and one. Down to a minute 20. Garrett Goshi drives in to the basket, dumps it off to a cutting James Wardick. Gets up, can't get the shot to go. Rebound, Angelo Winkle. There was contact there. It would have been Winkle's fifth foul, but they play on. Timeout, Bishop Garrigan. Minute 10 to go. 51-51. Back in a minute on home country, KLGZ. Minute 10 left. Bishop Garrigan with the basketball near midcourt. Isaiah Plath will throw it in in front of the scorer's table. Plath looking to get it in. Gets it in to Andrew Fogarty. Back to Plath. Over to Mice. Now to Kyle Schaefe. Schaefe looking inside. Trying to get Angelo Winkle the basketball. Over to Plath with one minute to go. Any fouls or free throws. Plath in the corner. Gets it to Winkle on the baseline. Winkle. Surveys the defense, gets around his defender and scores for two. And the Bears take the lead here at the end of the fourth quarter. 50 seconds to go. Kyle Simpson going the other way. Over to Garrett Goshi. Gets his defender in the air, drives to the basket. Hangs, hits. He got hammered, but no call. So the game is tied. Man, Goshi took the bump, then got the shot to go, but he played on. Definitely could have been an and one situation. We're tied at 53 with a minute to go. Will keeping right here. Wow. As Winkle got loose on the baseline, turned over his right shoulder and wrapped it around with his right hand. Then Goshi, nice ball fake there, got Winkle to fly past him, drove in, got bumped by Fogarty. Like I said, that very easily could have been an and one. But he got the shot to fall to tie the game at 53. It'll be Bishop Garrigan basketball out of this timeout. 53-53. Both crowds trying to fire up their squad. Like I said, a lot of Algona students in the stands. Very few parents. It looks like the the players put their friends on the pass list instead of their mom and dad. Give them a chance to see the game for the first time this season. 53-53, the Bears will have to work it up against token pressure here. He's gonna throw it in, Winkle's gonna, no, Andrew Fogarty's gonna throw it in. So Fogarty gets it to Plath in the backcourt. Had it knocked away by Noah Nelson, out of bounds. Lob it in Angelo Winkle. Give it to Plath. Harassed by Noah Nelson in the backcourt. Bumped by Noah Nelson. And that's going to be a one and one at the other end. Isaiah Plath will walk to the other end and shoot the one and bonus here. Hasn't had a free throw. Or at least through five games had not had a free throw. Stats not quite updated right now. 30 seconds, and that might have been the plan. They no, Nelson bodied him up right away the first time. That might have been the plan to try and send him to the line for the one and one. 
Plath's free throw is on the way. It's good. Isaiah Plath, first point of the game. Makes it a one-point Garrigan lead with 30 seconds to go. One more free throw for the senior. Plath toes the line. Second free throw on the way. No good off the side of the iron. Rebound Garrett Goshi for the Bulldogs. Goshi into the front court. Down to 25 seconds. Goshi drives in. Dumps it off inside to Wardick. Underneath the basket. Needs help. Throws it out of bounds off of Bishop Garrigan. Heads up play there by Wardick to bounce it off Kellen Murphy. So the Bulldogs have 20 and a half seconds. Down by one. Out of bounds to the right of the goal. Tyler Mansky will throw it in. Mansky looking. Gets it into Kyle Simpson. Simpson drives in. Out to Garrett Goshi. Goshi, dribble drive. Kicks it off left corner. Mansky for three. It's on the way. It's too strong. Rebound Angelo Winkle. Bulldogs need to foul, and they do. They'll, and that's going to be an intentional foul. Oh, wow. They're going to call the intentional because they just grabbed an Angelo Winkle. They did not make a play on the basketball. And that's huge because it just would have been a one-and-one one foul. Instead, it's two free throws and the ball. As Winkle goes to the line. First one on the way is good. Two-point game. That's team foul number nine on the Bulldogs. So now, no matter what happens with this free throw, they'll still have to foul, and it'll be a two-shotter. Winkle's second free throw, no good. So it's a two-point game. The Bears have hit two out of their last four free throws. Winkle's got 28. Timeout on the floor, 55-53. So it'll be... Bishop Garrigan basketball, nine seconds to go, two-point lead. And the Bulldogs will have to foul immediately, but it'll be a two-shot foul. So they'll have to hope for some sort of miss. The Bulldogs got what they wanted, got a look. Mansky was open in the corner. It was too strong. Winkle had the rebound, ran the other way, and... Goshi just grabbed him from behind, did not make a play on the basketball. 55-53. Both teams drawing up what they want in this final sequence here. For Bishop Garrigan, Winkle's only about a 45% free throw shooter. You gotta find Kyle Schaaf. Kellen Murphy, a 75%er on the season. Other than that, everybody 50% or below. You don't want Schaefe to catch it if you're Algona. Fogarty to throw it in. Kellen Murphy's not in the game right now. They do get it to Kyle Schaefe. He's fouled immediately by Aaron Waringa. And Kyle Schaefe will go to the line. 7.4 seconds left. One free throw would make it a two-possession game. Fouls on Aaron Waringa. That's his second foul, 10th team foul. 55-53. Schaefe to the line for two. First free throw is on the way, it's good. One more coming for Kyle Schaefe. One more free throw here for the senior. It's on the way. It is good. He got them both. It's a four-point game. Kyle Simpson into the front court. Drives all the way to the basket. He's going to lay it up and in. Bulldogs take their last time out with two seconds left. 57-55, and now the Bears have to get the ball in. You get the ball in, you can toss it down the floor, and the game would be over but got to find a way to get in and bounds first. As the Bulldogs will be face guarding everything, switching everything, and trying to eliminate any kind of inbound pass. Bishop Garrigan got to find a way to get the ball in and secure it. And they're going to they can get out of here with a win. Wild game back and forth. Each team's had the lead in the first half. Each team had the lead in the second half, but Bishop Garrigan this late run, once again, they had a late run at the end of the first half. 
They were down four going to this fourth quarter. They've outscored out going to 16 to 10 right now. Andrew Fogarty to throw it in. Mice, Winkle, Schaaf, and Plath for the Bears. Now Wardick is going to guard the inbound pass. Two seconds. Fogarty to throw it in. Looking. Throws deep. It's underthrown. Winkle, though, goes up and gets it. He's fouled. And 1.7 seconds went off the clock. That'll be two shots here for Angelo Winkle. And that'll do it pretty much. There's fourth foul on Kyle Simpson. And Coach Cecil's asking why the Maybe asking why the clock run or maybe asking for a travel when Winkle came down, but not going to get it at this point. So Winkle's going to get two shots. And the Bulldogs would only have three-tenths of a second to try and catch it and chuck it down the floor. Fifty-seven to fifty-five. Winkle to the line for two. First one is good. This one would actually ice it, but if he misses it, Bulldogs would have to take it down the floor in three tenths of a second and hit a three. Second free throw is good. Winkle with even thirty, and Bishop Garrigan wins it. Fifty-nine, fifty-five. The final. Big win for the Golden Bears. There, tough one for Algona as they. Their four-game winning streak comes to an end. Bishop Garrigan had a tight one against Garner Hayfield go the other way back on a Tuesday night. Tonight they get the win, 59-55.